love. Somebody's cutting the grass outside, it's very rude. But hopefully you can't hear it too much. Hello Stephanie. There's Naomi tipping as well. How's it going? Zero happy. What time is it in Australia? It must be early, early. Hello, uh, Jarvis. <laughs> Trudy. Ralph. Ralphie W. I thought I did it. I did it. Why did it work? It didn't work. I did it. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? I'm, I'm alright, okay. thanks. <laughs> oh, it's today. I am. I'm at home enjoying the sunshine. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? The light looks amazing. Are you in your new studio? Yes, it's my first day in my new studio. I'll give you a little look around. I've yes. got my computer temporarily set up there with wires and rubbish everywhere. And then I've got, I've got a window behind me and a door to outside. Uh, wow. but it's, it's all a bit of a mess because we've just literally moved all of our art stuff out of the house into here. And it was all in a much bigger room. Um, so we need to have a huge clear out and get rid of stuff. Oh, yeah. Always, I mean, it's like the best decluttering opportunity though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I just need a whole day aside where I'm not going to do any work and I just sort out stuff. Yeah, you know what it's like. <laughs> That's a good plan. Yeah. Yeah. Well, welcome everybody. This is our last art club for a while because we're having a proper summer holiday, aren't we? We are. We're going to take a few weeks off for a holiday. Uh, I'm going to miss art club, but at the same time, it's nice to have a break, isn't it? Yes. I think it's yeah. six weeks, seven weeks. And it's yeah. good that you'll miss us, but you won't forget we exist. So we'll but be back in September. We want crying though, don't we? And we want evidence yes. of crying, videos of people sobbing and stuff like that. Just like direct messages full of tears, that sort of thing. Comment. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Monica from Mexico. Hello, Monica from Mexico. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello. People are asking if your parrot is real. Oh, uh, he was real once, but not anymore. <laughs> I mean, he's <laughs> still real, but he's not alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lots still of... people are asking, is he a real budgie, Katie? Yeah. He's the smallest, most well-behaved budgie you'll ever meet. He never <laughs> <laughs> or eats anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Butchie Crafty says real but dead. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's good. Alex, Alex, at least Alex one fired parrot. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's promising to cry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, look what I've brought to draw. My dad brought some onions from his allotment. Really? Oh, look at those. Those are massive. Our onions yeah. are like this size, teeny tiny. Oh, oh. And, I need to uh, ask me. But an Ionium. Nice. And then this really lovely pot with characters on it. Oh, I like that. Good, isn't Does it? That need that one before? Yeah, I've not brought it to Art Club before. It's not new, but I've just not brought it to Art Club. Excellent. What well, are you drawing? As I'm in Cameron's studio, there's a million things everywhere, so I'm just going to draw things as I see Good them. Idea. Good idea. <laughs> I'm trying to show you the chaos that is Cameron's office. So it's... Oh, look. There's just stuff everywhere. That looks like this room. It looks just like this space. <laughs> It's good to see somebody else who likes a bit of clutter. When I told him I was up club upstairs, he was like, oh, wait a minute. And then he like came up to <laughs> escort. So, brilliant. And what are you drawing with? I've got a paint palette for doing splodges. And I've got those inky sticks, no, the oily sticks nice. that I'm obsessed with. Yeah, yeah. Nice. What have you got? got um, I've just mixed some colours on my palette. Every time we have art club, I just add a bit more paint and a bit more water onto the paints that, that were there last time. So I've got those. And the theme for this week is no lines. So, yeah, you can't draw around the edge of anything. You can't add any lines on afterwards. You've got to describe everything in areas of colour or tone. No lines. It's going to be good. Just blobs, splodges. Yeah. 
push your paintbrush around or your pencil. Yeah. <laughs> Negative it's space gonna... might be quite handy on this one, drawing the space around the outside. Oh, hello, Peggy. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ideas here too. Hello, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. <laughs> if this is your first art club, there's three of us in the good ship, me, Helen, and Tanya. So Tanya hangs out in the comments and makes sure everyone's all right. Because um, sometimes people have questions and stuff and we're in the zone, you know, can't read comments and draw at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wonder if you're drawing, Tanya. Are you drawing today? Let's see if she's drawing. Um, so we draw against the clock and we usually start off with like 30 seconds or a minute and then we build up from there. Because drawing against the clock, it's, it's a really handy thing to get out of old habits. So if you're used to kind of um, fruitering away the hours on one picture where you end up going, oh, it's so muddy and I've overworked it, this completely stops that. It's like a super brilliant sideways in to doing work that's loose and full of energy. Yes, you've got to sneak up on yourself. Yeah. Uh, There's someone saying there, Tanya... Our no line art police person, yeah, Tanya, yeah, Tanya will know. And I've got a phone behind me there. That's direct to the art police. Oh if wow! If we hear of anything, that phone will ring, and you know, people will be in trouble. Quite strict. Had a phone. Tanya's at the post office. She's joined oh. up from the post office. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> You're multitasking, Tanya. <laughs> oh, you've got the sound on in the post office. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there's a little crowd in the post office all watching from the queue. I remember I once accidentally uh, broadcast, uh, it was like a meditation class in the chip shop. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. It was, it was on Zoom and I signed up for it and then I was like, oh, I forgot. So I clicked on it and it was like... <laughs> Relax, but <laughs> into the. It'd be even better if you had your Bluetooth turned on and it hooked onto their speakers. <laughs> yeah, that would have been. <laughs> yeah, probably not appreciate my yoga class. <laughs> okay, shall we get started? Let's do it. Shall we do a one minute, a really really speedy yeah. one? One minute, Rogers. Yeah, one minute. Okay. Okay. Get ready. Go. Oh. Oh, was that a line? That was my line, straight away. Katie. Sorry. <laughs> we'll get warmed up first, you see. Yeah. I really, really love line. I have to yeah. set myself a very specific task not to get into the lines. Because I just love my dip pen and ink. I'm definitely a line kind of person. This is comfy, isn't it, doing lines? That's what you thought. Yeah. was very fast. That anything. Yeah. <laughs> it was getting used to splodges. So. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, oh I like it. <laughs> Pink. Yeah, that I've uh, mixed a little bit of that. I really, I'm a, really addicted to this paint and it's the Windsor and Newton magenta and it's got like super powered um, pigment in it like really punchy brilliant pink and if you mix that with anything if you mix it with red or other pinks or purples or anything it makes them really like zing so yeah mm. that's my superpower paint on that one that's cool pink paint like one of the most expensive pigments or did I dream that do you think what is pink paint one of the most expensive pigments 
I feel that like magenta when I, one is, yeah, that magenta yeah. it, it is. Because they always had like the, the cord of what price is what paint and the pink was always like the fancy yeah. paint. The magenta and then the the um, cyan, cyan, the turquoise, that's got a real kick as well. Oh, that one's more expensive. Yeah, some of the colours, they must be harder to make the pigments or something. Got unicorns in it or something. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe not unicorns because Tanya doesn't like unicorns. <laughs> oh, I'm going to grab a plant and bring it out of the mess. So that I can see it better. Yeah, go for it. There's Alice and Salter saying, my dad accidentally did a voice note to our street explaining our Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh <laughs> my goodness. Oh. That reminds me, Tanya, that reminds me of Tanya's pocket dial, do you remember? To somebody in the good ship course. But that was the best. <laughs> <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> Tanya went for a wee, and whilst doing the wee, accidentally pocket dialed on Instagram, like a voice message of basically Tanya doing a wee, running out of toilet paper and swearing, and then flushing the toilet. <laughs> oh, good. It was so but funny. The person who got that message was very understanding, so that was good. <laughs> yeah. She was like, oh, well, that happens. <laughs> It was so funny and it was right on the first launch when we literally just started, wasn't it? We were all, oh, no. <laughs> It was so funny. Uh, and it was like when you were listening to it, it just sounded like maybe she was running the tap or something, like yeah. there was water. Yeah. And then I thought <laughs> it was the flush. <laughs> yeah, it was that minute I was like, oh, she's not washing up. Yeah, uh -oh. <laughs> oh. It was so funny. It was brilliant. Yeah. We should offer accidental Tanya pocket dials as a bonus <laughs> within the course. <laughs> a bank of good audios that Tanya has made. <laughs> People would love that. She's not commenting. I'm thinking she's walking home from the post office and she's missed this now. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, she's stopped the post office. <laughs> <laughs> right. Shall I set the timer for two minutes? Yes. Okay, <coughs> get ready, go. Oh. Got this magic flag in front of me now. Can you hear them cutting the grass outside? Yeah, I can hear a noise yeah. that must be that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's so nice, sitting in the warmth, sort of outside, the door open, painting onions. As soon as this annoying gardener goes away, I'm going to open the windows. Is it very warm? It's so hot here. Yeah. This is the one room of, in the winter, it's like icicles. In the summer, it's so hot. Oh, is it? <laughs> There's no happy meat if you're uh, boiling or freezing. Yeah. Was that a line? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm loving this task. Yeah. It'd be nice not to rely on a line to describe everything. Uh oh. Oh, what? Uh -oh. That's true. Uh -oh. I don't believe you. I'm just pretending it's not happening. Just for a little, just for a little while. That'll do. Okay. Oh, 
that looks nice, Katie. I've just been frittering about with the pattern on the bars. It was it was very fun to do. That's lovely. It's very nice. Um, Beyond. <laughs> that's, she's a she's a mama says so that she was or he was chatting on the call with a guy once and five minutes into the call there was a flush <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny tanya says oh you buggers i was driving <laughs> 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 listening to us tell everyone <laughs> that's brilliant she had a car windows down so everybody heard us talking about the pocket flush <laughs> from the toilet that's the pocket okay. dial Oh, oh my goodness, I love these bright colours. Yeah, they're really Very. lovely and juicy to draw. I'm just going to get another big piece of paper. Okay. I've got so much mess in here that I had to put my paper outside. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There we are. I've got some. Hey. Okay. Shall we do uh, four minutes? Yeah, four minutes. Was that two yeah. minutes? That was very short. Yeah, that was two. Okay, yeah, let's do four. Double it. Let's do a four. Okay, get ready. Go. It's so much better now that I found my proper phone clip. <laughs> oh yeah, it... that's good. Where did Easier. it turn up? It was in my car. Uh... My secondary cupboard that I just put things in to hide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do that. If I've got stuff for charity, I just can't stand it being in the house, so I stick it in the car, but it can be in the car for months. Yeah, I do that as well. And then you're like, oh, still there. I've just had a really lovely call, a Zoom call with Viv and Lucy from Picture Hooks about our new picture book course. It's very exciting. Yeah, it was great. I ran lots of ideas past them and then they had some ideas for things that we could put in the course and great people that we can get videos from for um, showing behind the scenes stuff about how people do their books. Yeah, it was dead exciting. Getting there all the, now. All the comments on that post, everybody was very excited as well. Yeah, isn't that nice to see? Oh, I can't wait. I can't either. But yeah, we made a, a sort of waiting list sign up as well today. Yes, thanks for doing that, Katie. That's brilliant. Looks so good. It's on the website. So if you're interested in doing the picture book course, which will be out probably autumn. Um, you can put your name on this waiting list, so then you'll you'll get a heads up when it, when it launches. Yeah, I put the link in the bio. I haven't put it on the on the homepage of the website yet. I forgot about that. Well remembered, but I'll do that straight to the art club. Yeah, but if you want to look after after this, you could just follow the link through Instagram. That'll get people there, won't it? Yeah. Brilliant. That's yes, good. that means that you'll be the first people to hear all the things. Because if, like with Instagram, even if you post, people sometimes say, "Oh, I missed it because it was on your story," or the, the algorithm didn't show me. So yeah, the reliable way. Exactly. And people have been sending over all sorts of brilliant questions about what they'd like to see in the course. 
Um, yes. So if you, yeah, if you want to message us with things like I had a message from somebody who said they'd done absolutely loads of picture book courses. Oh, I think they said lots of picture book courses. Anyway, they've done some, but they've never really been guided through the process of making thumbnails and sort of structuring a story and stuff like that. So that was interesting. We're definitely going to have that in the course, for sure. You need that. You always do that, don't you? With the yeah. Sort of... I love That's making great. thumbnails. It's one of my favourite bits. Because then you can chop all the thumbnails up. If you draw them on a piece of paper, you can literally cut them out with scissors and tape and reorder them and, until it feels right, until everything works. Yeah, we'll definitely do something about that. That's so good. People are asking for what... Oh, no, no. I'm not ready. I see somebody asking about oh, our cheese plan. Yeah, I've uh, had some interesting adventures in colour because it kept changing green. Oh, yeah, that's lovely. I like all the greens. Lovely. Leaf paper as well. Uh, Witchcrafty says our picture hook's still doing that event in Edinburgh in November. They're definitely still doing it, but I can't remember now if it's going to be live or on Zoom. I don't I think know, but it's still happening though. Yeah, it's, it's definitely happening. Didn't they say they're changing it to virtual? Possibly. I think they did. I think so. <laughs> it's still happening. No, Holly, just to make sure. But. Um, there's Joy Abbott saying, when does the picture books call start? We think we're just putting it together now. I um, think it'll be October, autumn, September, October. Anyway, yeah. Here we are. Light, low, negative space. Yeah, I did a bit of negative space and my plan was to work into these, but then the timer really annoyingly, I mean, whose idea is it to have that stupid timer? I would <sighs> complain <laughs> to the author of our club. I'm going to, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's Emma Thompson Art, really wants to do the picture book course. Ah, oh, brilliant. I can't wait. I can't wait. We've got, I've asked loads of brilliant illustrators to make videos for us about their behind the scenes processes. And everybody I've asked has said yes, which has been amazing. So we've got some brilliant videos lined up. Yes. I couldn't believe it. So we had that business meeting yesterday. I couldn't believe it when you're going through the list. Because it's your, your stuff already, and then you're like, oh, you've got this person to speak, and yeah. this amazing person to speak, and then this amazing person to speak for us. It's honestly so good. Yeah, it's amazing. Really amazing. Hey, you know that photo we took of us yesterday? It yeah. brought back all my bloody dreams. Do you remember when <laughs> oh, we started Good Ship, and I, I had to dream that I was the bloody of the Good Ship? Do you remember? <laughs> and I actually got a bit, like, down about it, like... I don't know, it was very disturbing. And then I looked at that photo yesterday and I thought, I am, it's come true. I am the Bill Oddie of the good shit. <laughs> oh, I Bill Oddie was probably very cool, Helen. <laughs> yes, I, you know, I do like Bill Oddie. I don't know. There's something going on in my psyche about Bill Oddie. I, I don't know what, I can't untangle it. When I'm out the other side, I'll be able to talk about it. <laughs> Write a, a story about your Bill or D realizations and what you've learned. Yeah. I'm going to book some psychotherapy sessions about it. Yeah. <laughs> Bill or D themed. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I wonder least... if there are any therapists who specialize in Bill or D dreams. <laughs> you know, there are people who deal with, like, you know, grief and. Uh, post-traumatic stress. I wonder if there are any specialising in Bilotti. There's got to be. Just <laughs> <laughs> to be right down. <laughs> Can you hear that lovely silence now? The lawn mower gone. I can. That was hard. We survived. <laughs> Tim Brooke, that was that one of the goonies? He's one of the goodies. Yeah. Oh, good. Tim Brooke Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> He's brilliant. I would be the very, very, very tall one who doesn't know at all until they stand beside their friends. Before. One of them died last year. <laughs> I don't think it was Tim Brooke Taylor. I think it was the other one whose name I've forgotten. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> yes, should we do another one? Yes, let's do it. What's going on back? Go away. What's happening? The lawnmower man is... 
powder again. Oh no. He was limping. I thought maybe he'd go home early with a sore leg. Maybe you could send Cameron out to push him off his tractor. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do oh, the trick. Tim died. Oh, Tim did die. Oh. And Rambling Rose makes us what event are picture hooks doing? I can't see it on their website. It was good. No. Yeah, I couldn't find it on their website. And maybe it's just because it's a bit early yet. But yeah, they're doing, it's called the Festival of Illustration, I think. And it's happening in November. Yeah. Tell them to update yeah. them. <laughs> Send them a message. I will. I will. <laughs> I'm going to do more of this plant and faster this time. People are talking about how until they saw that photo of us, they didn't realise our relative heights. There were loads of messages about that. <laughs> Everyone thought you were the tallest, Helen. <laughs> and you were the smallest. Yeah. <laughs> It's so funny. I believe that would make Tanya the tallest. I don't know. Yeah, people. It's funny. <laughs> people just decide. How to... <laughs> That's the thing with Zoom, isn't it? When you talk to people on Zoom for a whole year, and then you yeah. listen, it's like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> You're not flat inside the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Witchy Crafty thought Tanya was the tallest. It must be age then. Do you know, I thought that because a couple of people said, I thought Katie was the smallest. And now that somebody said they thought Tanya was the tallest, I think people are putting us in age height. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Had this first opportunity to grow. <laughs> I still might grow and be the tallest. You never know. It's still time. <laughs> a school child. <laughs> I just so, looked like I was doing some brilliant work experience with two of my favourite aunties. <laughs> I'll show you how to do it, Helen. <laughs> brilliant. Um, Shall I set the timer for longer? We need longer this time. Yeah, Should you we need do longer. an eight minute? Yes. Eight minutes? Eight okay. minutes. Good to me. Get ready. Go. Go. Yeah, Tanya says she wasted all her opportunity to grow. <laughs> <laughs> what were you doing with all that growing time? Yeah. The thing is that I consider myself to be quite tall because my grandma was under five foot and I had to bend down to kiss her head. So I consider myself quite a tall person, but <laughs> nobody else does. <laughs> I'm going to put that on the website quote from <laughs> It needs to go in my bio. Yeah, <laughs> I consider myself quite tall. <laughs> <laughs> At least medium size. Maybe I'm medium size. I'm definitely yeah. not small. No, no way. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's good because I matches up with my six foot seven story. So <laughs> if you're quite tall. <laughs> It's all relative. Uh, your granny must and be when, you're rel when your relatives are tiny, it does make you feel very tall. Yeah. I do have a cousin that's nearly seven foot, though. Do you? I have a very, very, very tall cousin. Yeah. Oh. My cousins are quite tall, I think. Maybe that's a thing. Is your mum tall? No, but my dad is. Is he? Yeah, he's, I think he's six foot four or something. <laughs> and you're even taller than that. Yeah, no, I passed him <laughs> when you were a baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you my dad was over a stone when he was born. No. <laughs> yeah, it was massive. What? <laughs> really? Wow. Yeah, he was like 15 pounds. Wow, Katie, never have any babies. Yeah, <laughs> it's quite disturbing. <laughs> I could have babies, but just be like, please remove the baby surgery because I know yes. it's going to be a stone. Yeah. 
just book yourself in for an appointment when they're about when they're about I don't know three months on something like that <laughs> yeah sounds good <laughs> is that allowed mm. it will be when you tell them about your dad yeah. <laughs> How's it going? What, the grass cutting? No, the painting. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's again, I've got peace again. <laughs> Painting's going all right. I'm just having a fun time looking at leaves. What about you? Yeah, I'm really enjoying the colour. It's so lovely. How come not doing line makes the colour? Maybe not have it, because often I'll use a black line and black can kill colour a bit. The colours yeah. just seem really zingy, it's so nice. It's like all you've got left to play with, isn't it? The colour. Yeah. You know, when we come back from after holiday, yeah, I might buy myself new materials as if I'm going back to school. Oh, good idea. Get my new pencil case. Lay my clothes out the night before. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. That'll be good. I'll write my name really neatly on the front of my sketchbook. <laughs> new pencil cases. Yeah. Goes without saying. Well I really, really like those Stevens. I'm going to hold one up so people can see it. Can you see that? Katie <laughs> bought me, and I'd completely forgotten about this when I was at school. I don't even know if it's hitting <laughs> the camera, I can't tell, but those lovely Stevens rulers. I really remember the rulers from school, wooden rulers with Stevens written along. They're so brilliant. Yes. I'm going to go on e eBay and buy myself some more. Yes, do it. Did you have, were you like, did you have a full collection of Stevens stationery? I didn't. I never did, but I'm going to now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear like a trumpet now. Really? What? What is going on today? It's not here. It might be Cameron listening to me. He's making cakes today, so he always puts loud music on when he's making cakes. Trumpet music? <laughs> yeah, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> it makes the cake rise better. <laughs> Does he blow, blow air into them? <laughs> yeah, you <yeah. laughs> Using the trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> and give away all the baking secrets. <laughs> I love all these images that we paint of our relatives <laughs> that people never see. <laughs> Not that Cam I don't mean Cameron's your relative, but you know what I mean. <laughs> My uncle Cameron that I <laughs> Oh, 
this is so much fun. I am loving this. I am loving it. Blobs. Can we do Blobs Art Club again? Definitely. Anya says, are we all having our sandwiches after this end of term special party? Oh, good idea. Yes. I haven't oh. had any lunch yet. I'm definitely having sandwiches afterwards. Yes, I've already had my lunch, but I could eat sandwiches as well afterwards. <laughs> How long will the art club vacation be this time? I think. Are we back? Um, we're back. 10th of September. September. Is that right? Yeah. That's what I had in my head. 10th of September. Yeah. That's what I thought as well. Yeah. yeah. And then, so it's, I think it's six weeks, six or seven. Yeah. Yeah. We thought long enough to properly recharge batteries and short enough that you don't forget who we are. Yeah. <laughs> JF Prod is eating and drawing. I was thinking of doing that, but you know, I've listened to too many of those feedback programs on Radio 4 where people get very upset if they hear people eat. <laughs> so I thought I'd better not. Is it like a of <laughs> <laughs> noises? I eat very noisy. <laughs> like eggy. <laughs> oh, somebody's got a sausage roll, a veggie sausage roll. Mmm. And somebody's swimming in a ford. A fjord? fjord. <laughs> I can't see that message. I think I don't get the message at the same speed as you. Oh. Long anyway, do you want to see my drawing? Yeah, show me. <laughs> Pat that. me on the head, Katie. Haven't I done a good <laughs> job? You've done so well, Helen. <laughs> Helen, <laughs> beyond. Mine, mine's not very good, but that's all right. This is art club. Hey, that's brilliant. Is the it's blue pattern on the pot that the plant is in? Yeah, it's like um, big blue flowers. Ooh, ripping the whole thing. Uh. Yeah, you were talking about setting up an art club desk in your studio, and I think you've inspired you to do the same. That's such a good yeah, idea. Yeah, that's what this is. This is going to be permanent art club desk. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's somebody saying thanks for changing it to noon that might change again we'll see what happens in september but yeah we get about equal amount of people really wanting it in the evening and really wanting it lunchtime so i think we'll probably just kind of switch back and forth and do a bit of both mix it up yeah i really enjoy these lunchtime ones especially as the sun's out and the weather's nice definitely time ones are nice and then in winter i really Oh, I like the wintry evening ones as well, near Christmas when it's the evening, that's a nice time. And it's all dark and you've got your dressing going on. Yeah, I love that, pyjama art clubs. <laughs> Jasmine's joining in even though she's got guests. I won't tell anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the crazy okay. plant, it's like... <laughs> so it's wow, just... it's a monster. monster. That's so lovely. Oops, bang. How about a longer one? Ten minutes? Yeah, let's do a ten minute one. Yeah, alright then. I'm going to use my slodgy sticks. I might need to make a bit more paint up. Anyway, get ready, go! Well, it says pyjamas was the theme once, wasn't it? Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> it was, that was funny. It didn't really affect the drawing at all, but it was fun to wear pyjamas. Yeah, it was kind of a silly theme for art club, but... <laughs> It was fun. Tanya suggested that we do one, an art club. So we're always talking about not noodling, meaning don't overwork your drawing and spend forever on it and like just twiddle your pencil about on the page for the sake of it. We're always saying don't do that. But Tanya said, why don't we do a noodling art club? And I think that's a brilliant idea. We should do that. Yeah. You have to noodle um, right from the beginning of your drawing. Yes, <laughs> I'm looking forward to that one. That'll, I think we should do that one when we come back. Yeah, that would be brilliant. We 
we could do really long ones as well. <laughs> <laughs> so you got loads of time to noodle. Five hours of noodling. <laughs> yeah. Just fill them out. Don't really do anything useful. Just make yeah. Fun. Be, just sick. be quite aimless. Keep working over old lines again and again and again. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Peggy, you're lying on my, my nicest drawing. Peggy. Oh, no. Peggy does not care. She, she, if I put artwork on the floor, Peggy is right in there lying on it straight away. She's doing it now. The paint hasn't even dried. It's kind of Peggy. got to her fur. I try to do a line made up of ducks. Is that allowed? I think that's allowed. Okay. If not, that telephone will ring in a minute. That's what I'm scared of, you see. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the kind of thing where you get a first offence and they let you off with a sort of slap? Yeah, the yellow card. Yeah, but then if you do it on purpose, it's really not a good thing. Yeah, get, you get taken aside and talked yeah. to seriously. That's like my worst nightmare. I was a very well-behaved child. Yeah, me too. Once I stole some chalk from the blackboard at school. <laughs> yeah, and then I got home and I felt so absolutely terrible about it that the next day I took it back and put it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> I can imagine you doing that. <laughs> the sleepless night with the chalk by your bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, he's come back with a chainsaw now. So... Mm, blimey. Oh, no, it's a leaf blower. <laughs> Go away. I can't hear it anymore. Oh, that's good. He always does that when I'm trying to have a nap as well. Very inconsiderate. I can't think where they have to cut grass around you because it's just fields. Yeah, it's like for the, by the houses, there's a bit of grass. Oh. Up where the new, new houses, well, there's grass there too. Oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Damn those new houses. Mm. <laughs> How I've would got... I do writing? Uh, uh, not with lines, that's all I can say. Not with lines, because you'd live to regret it. Oh dear, <laughs> that's so <okay. laughs> Wow. <laughs> like, a try. <laughs> Were you going to say how long we got as well? Oh, uh, yeah. Have I set the timer? Oh, well, I did, yeah. We've got f nearly five minutes left. Five minutes. Oh, well, JF Pod did black blocks for writing. Oh, I might steal that idea. Thank you. Did what? He did black blocks. Oh. For, for... Oh, for writing. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm drawing the handsome prince with the big leg again. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jeff Prod also says, but when is a line not a line? Mm. Deep. We're not at liberty to divulge that information. No, we're like, 
you have to stick to the rules, but we're not exactly saying what the rules are. But you still <laughs> have to stick to them. You'll know if you've crossed the line or <laughs> will be picked up. <laughs> you've just got to live in a vague sense of fear. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Not quite knowing <laughs> whether you're all right or not. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jerry's moving some ladders around outside if I can hear all that clattering. Oh. We've, we've still got all the scaffolding up from when the builders did the roof. Oh, yeah. And uh, um, Jerry's painting some upstairs windows that you can't reach without scaffolding. Yeah, they will be like brand new. Actually, these windows are completely rotten, totally, totally, totally rotten. But we're trying to keep them going just a bit longer because um, we don't know whether oh, it's too too long and boring to tell you about. But anyway, it's fixing some pretty unrepairable windows. Oh no! Yeah, <laughs> that's the next thing on our list of windows. But it is also very very boring. You've got really lovely little windows with tiny panes of glass, haven't you? You've got really lovely windows. It's, it's a shame to have to repair some of them, but they're just so um, yeah. cool. Yeah. So being outside. Blow a stop trumpet started again. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know what camera's doing with that trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> just serenading the cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that thing about if you talk to your plants, they grow better. <laughs> <laughs> if you play trumpet to your cakes, <laughs> yeah, they nice. grow better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was really, 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 really good fun. That was. I was stuck into that one. There we are. Oh, these colours. That's so nice. How do you keep your colours so unmuddy? Is it because they're all in separate palette things? They're mixed your... in separate little thingies. Uh, nice. They're all so bright and un un unreadified. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, uh, oh, very nice. That blue's nice. Nice and blobby. What's in the blue jar? Uh, it says um, hydrog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Type of jam. <laughs> Think so. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> 
definitely lunch over. We've got 10 minutes left. We've got time for one more before we draw our bits. Yes. Somebody's asking what type of paint I'm using, and it's um, it's Windsor and Newton watercolour, but I'm not using it like a watercolour. I'm mixing it like the same consistency as gouache. Ooh, I like the yeah, air Yeah, I like watercolour, but I don't always like to use it very, very watery. Especially for a drawing like this, it'd all just swim together, wouldn't it? Yeah. Go I ahead. think I've got some gouache in here. Yeah, I've mixed some white gouache into some of the colours as well. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh. How are we going to draw our bits without using lines? Oh. I think we'll have to use lines. Oh, we could do dots. Yeah, we could do dots. Like a dotty line. Or like Minecraft squares. Yeah. Some people seem to... <laughs> Don't they? Like they draw a bit and then they draw a bit. There's one person every week and I can't remember who it is. If you're here, shout out. I've forgotten who it yeah. is. I do know about forgotten. Who or, who interpreted it the first week like Minecraft Squares and has done it like that every week and it's so good. It's brilliant. I love how is people's it, mind and people's minds interpret the same thing completely differently. It's, it, oh, it's, it's, it's Pencil Nook. Pencil Nook. It's you, Pencil Nook. I love that. I like your brain. <laughs> yeah. Good. Like, oh, a bit. I will draw a literal bit. I will draw a bit. A yeah. Digital <laughs> bit. <laughs> it's brilliant. Yeah. Let's all look, aka bits. <laughs> okay. Right. Shall I set the timer for? Should we do a five minute? Yeah, that's perfect about time. Yeah. Well, it'd be good to do a speedy one as well now, won't it? Speed up again. Yeah. See how the drawings look. Okay, I'm ready. Go. Go. Ah, I'm running out of paint. Oh no, my five minutes is going to be taken up. <laughs> uh, squidging some more paint into my pots. I know what to do. I'm going to just completely disregard colour completely. And just oh. use random colours. That's funny. I'm doing a yellow, doing yellow leaves for a plant that is definitely not yellow. Great minds. Yep. Oh, now this is nice because I can just put colours together that are nice. It's liberating. It's so lovely. Yeah, you don't have to be faithful to what's actually li what looks like. Puzzle. Yeah, nice. Very, very nice. I like this. Yeah. I'm feeling happy, Katie. Yay! <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm very excited about trying to negotiate our QVC deal to sell bingo dabbers as the good ship. Oh, please get that sorted, Katie. Oh, yes. imagine being on QVC, the pair of us selling bingo dabbers. It would be amazing. You've got sold. <laughs> <That's> so many. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've already sold many and we don't even have a QVC channel yet, so uh, deal yet, so imagine. <laughs> It's only a matter of time. <laughs> That'd be brilliant. How are you meeting the QBC person again? I've forgotten now. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going on a late night TV programme about <laughs> teaching young people how to drive safely. <laughs> <laughs> when they ask me, I was like, this is very bizarre, but also, yes, I will do it. <laughs> That's um, brilliant. And then they told me that the presenter is a QVC lady who does the shopping oh, channel. You've got to get it sorted, Katie. I'll be very disappointed if you don't get a deal sorted. It's going to be our big, our big good ship, big grabber sale break, I reckon. <laughs> That's brilliant. About time. 
So when can we see you on the TV driving safely? <laughs> <laughs> can it be so good? Well, the so the, the film in it at the beginning of August. Yeah. And uh, I don't know what it'll take. I will be you, sure to pass it far. Drawing, are you drawing people who are driving safely or are you driving safely? I'll be drawing people driving safely. So the <laughs> Because <laughs> it's for teenagers, it'll be like revision notes, illustrated live. That is brilliant. It's for teenagers? Yeah. Oh. Teaching them how to not get drunk and how to not drive when they're really tired and stuff. Oh. Very educational. <laughs> brilliant. Ooh, this red and blue mixed together very nicely. Do they make a good pair? Yeah, a bit purple, but nice sort of berry colour. Oh, we should definitely do an art club where you mix your palette before you start. Yes. And then you just use any colour on your palette for the objects, because I'm really enjoying this, it's brilliant. Yeah, so you like make your colour palette all ready before you go, and then you and, just use that. Yeah, thing. and then just, just use any colours once you start drawing, just pick any of the colours from your palette. That would be amazing. Painty art club. Oh, egg bumps using bingo dabbers. Perfect. <laughs> Oh no, timer! I'm oh, so afraid. I wasn't I'm ready. I'm ignoring it. I'm ignoring it for a minute because I'm really, really enjoying this picture. I, I think there's a fault with the timer again. I was just thinking the same thing. That's not actually um, the right amount of time. Yeah. Please hold. <laughs> it's great because I've only got very very limited colours left in my palette I'm just putting them absolutely anywhere but they all sing together really nicely it really doesn't matter where they go <laughs> Claire Davis Everidge says Helen I think the phone is ringing I don't think. Mm, no, I don't. I didn't hear anything. Mm -hmm. oh, there it is. Did you hear? Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> well, I really enjoyed that, but I'm not sure about the end result actually. No, How I did yours go? Pushing colours together, but yeah, it looks very like. GCSE art. <laughs> yeah, so does mine. Yay! I really enjoyed it, but I'm not. I'm not sure it's really working. But it was good fun, though. Oh, look! People getting very cross in the comments, Helen. Very cross. Oh. Don't overdo it, Helen. Police. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because the, the phone didn't ring, and that proves that there were no underhand dealings going on. <laughs> Is that phone actually plugged to your landline? Could it ring? Um, no, because I cut the wire off it. Oh. <laughs> I cut the wire off it because when I used to do lots of school visits before lockdown and stuff, I used to take it in my, I used to have a suitcase with travel stickers all over it, loads of lions and all sorts of kids' book stuff in there, and a telephone, and sometimes in the middle of a school visit, I used to take a call from somebody. <laughs> Brilliant. I plan on doing the same at art club sometime. <laughs> Have I shown you my duck phone before? Have you seen that? Oh yeah, your duck phone is brilliant. It's over there. Yeah. Just... Yeah. Oh, there he is. Maybe the art club police could ring you on the duck phone as well. Yeah. It's very scary because his eyes flash red when it's ringing. <laughs> like, you answer the phone as fast as possible. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Two o'clock already. Witchcraft is accusing us of crimes. Don't mm -hmm. There's no, nothing I... going on here. I think there's been right, a terrible. I need a piece of paper for my bits. <gasps> Who's in warm. charge? You're in charge of instructions on the bits today. Oh dear. Get ready for them. No, it's even Bye. it's much it's much better when you're in charge because it's so funny. Okay, well, we'll start on the left hand side of the paper. Yeah. Had you already thought of an animal? Eh, uh, no, no, I haven't. Oh. Have you thought of one now? I try to think of one that isn't a bird, but you know when you like don't think about birds. Like, <laughs> about is birds, not a bird, not a bird. <laughs> not a bird or a dog, and that's the only two things that exist in my brain now. You could pick anything in the world. Anything in the world. Oh, okay, okay, I've got one. Is right, it a trumpet? Is it a trumpet? <laughs> not a trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm ready. I've got my paintbrush ready. Oh, do you mean if it doesn't have to be an animal? If I just imagined it has to be an animal. No, I'll keep it as an animal. Too. I don't know. I mean, we always did animals, but it doesn't have to be. Like, if you've run out of animals, if you've used them all up. No, I think there's some left. We'll go with this all one. Right. Oh. All right, then. Now, on the video page, go up three bits. Uh, right two bits. Yeah down and to the right diagonal two bits and then do a squiggle in the middle quite quite a substantial squiggle a squiggle in the middle yeah like a kind of blob okay and then go down diagonally left uh did i say two bits or three bits the same amount of <laughs> as you had the other one <laughs> i love it I mean, go left to join up to the beginning of your drawing. Hang on, hang on. Are we going diagonal left two bits? Yeah, yeah diagonal yeah. left two bits. And then go left yeah. as many bits as you need to join up to the beginning again. Okay, then. Is that it? No, that's not it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then go put your squid in the middle. Yeah. And then go up one bit. Yeah. And then down one bit. Back down the same line. Yeah. And then go right like a third of a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and then go yeah. up one. <laughs> yeah. And then go I think down. I've got this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then go down the same line again. Back to your squiggle in the middle. Um and then we're going to go up diagonally right two bits. Yeah. And then we're going to right two bits. Down. <laughs> That's where my bag does not help. Down. Was it four bits? Down how many bits? Oh, the same amount as. So, like four, maybe? Four, maybe. One, two, three, four. <laughs> yeah. Left two bits. Yeah. Up and left diagonally, two bits back to your squiggle in the middle. Oh, I am back where I started. Oh, oh okay. okay. Voila! All done. That's an animal, is it? That's an animal. <laughs> <laughs> Do I don't know. I've never met this. I don't think I've ever met this animal. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a <laughs> moth. Oh, it's a moth. <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's a brilliant moth. <laughs> that's brilliant. <laughs> Everyone, oh, that's so good. <laughs> I really well, like how my moth has got one massive square wing and one slightly <laughs> crumpled wing, and no, not much, nobody really to speak of. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely remembered all my measurements wrong, but everyone got it. Hooray! <laughs> no, cause. I heard Nihu's house said so got a frog. Oh. <laughs> it's I, brilliant. It's, oh, lots of people are getting butterflies and moths. It is a manly moth, Tanya, exactly. <laughs> it's a manly moth, yeah. Uh, oh, well, thank you all for coming. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was good fun. So go away and cry until middle of September when we're back again. Yes, you get six weeks to um, go on holiday. And then after that, you can't go on holiday because if you miss an art club, uh, mm. that's a very serious offence. Yeah. They take it very seriously. So.
Yeah, it can get really serious. You need to be here. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> the brilliant eggs are all the same. There's oh yeah, it's a good ship at all and art club aftermath. But I'll put them in the comment thing so you can see them. Yeah, and if you want to do a picture book course, don't forget to follow the link on our Instagram to our website and join the newsletter. Yeah, so we'll post it in the thing and you can find everything that you need. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have a good Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.